Good morning. Reverend Myron Jones here, and I want to introduce to you my new book. It's called Hey Holy Spirit, It's Me Again. And I gave it that title because it's a, a journal that I did with Holy Spirit on doing the daily lessons for A Course in Miracles. And I noticed that in the mornings I would sit down, read my lesson, uh, ask Holy Spirit for guidance, and then I would start to write. And then during the day sometimes he would give me new ideas as the day went on. And so, or I would have a question. And so I would say, oh, hey, Holy Spirit, it's me again. <laughs> so that's how I got the title. These, the book itself is on the first 90 lessons. Um, I did those, I chose those particular lessons because they are the foundation for the rest of the lessons and so often misunderstood and underappreciated. I know for a long time I certainly didn't understand them. I thought, especially those first few lessons, I thought were kind of crazy or silly and I just couldn't understand them. So this has been a, a growing process for me as I've done the lessons repeatedly and finally uh, through the practice of the lessons came to a deeper understanding. So what I want to do now is I just want to read the introduction and maybe some, maybe the first chapter we'll see. The one thing I have learned for certain doing the lessons in A Course in Miracles is that the Course means exactly what it says. Somehow I managed to avoid that simple truth for most of the years I've studied it it's not complicated or hard to understand. In fact, it's simple. When it doesn't appear simple, it is because I'm resisting its simple message. My Creator created me like Himself and nothing has changed. Anything I see or experience or think I am that is not pure love is an illusion, a hallucination. The Course is helping me to reach this realization one gentle step at a time. I have terrified myself with stories of separation from my God for so long that I'm easily frightened and fearful students are poor learners. So the Holy Spirit, the voice for God, which resides forever in my mind, speaks to my heart every morning as I look at my daily lessons. And every day, I become more willing to believe his gentle message that God loves me and holds no grievances against me and that I remain forever as I was created. The workbook for A Course in Miracles begins with lessons to help me undo my false beliefs. It starts by helping me to see that I am completely wrong about absolutely everything I think I know. Nothing I see means anything. I've given everything I see all the meaning it has for me. I do not understand anything I see. What? How am I supposed to feel about this? At first I didn't believe it, but Jesus does not ask me to believe the lessons, only to do them. Even that simple instruction to just do them, which asked so little of me, was more than I was willing to do for a very long time. It took me many years to reach the point of surrender that allowed me to complete the workbook lessons. At the time I was avoiding the task, I did not think of it that way. I believed the ego voice that said I was too lazy, it was too hard, I didn't understand it, I didn't deserve it. But in retrospect, I understand that the part of the mind that does not want to relinquish its story of individuality was scrambling for ways to keep me, Myron, away from this work. In a sense, the ego mind was fighting for its life. I have been studying and practicing what I read in the Course for around 15 years. When I finally got on board with the rest of the world and bought my first computer, 
Up until that point, I had mostly studied in isolation. I was thrilled to discover that there was now a wealth of information on the course available through the Internet. It also made it possible for me to be in contact with other students of the course. One of the first places I visited was Pathways of Light. That's www.pathwaysoflight.org. And on that site, I discovered a small group of people studying the workbook together. The moderator would discuss a lesson as she understood it and would invite each of us to do the same. Well, I jumped in with both feet. <laughs> I was so excited to have this opportunity to talk to someone else about this remarkable book and to finally move through the lessons. They seemed so much less threatening with others sharing them with me. This was the first time I'd ever completed the lessons, and I experienced a significant shift in understanding from doing this. A few years later, I went through the lessons with Kenneth Wapnick through his dialogues in Journey Through the Workbook, which further enriched my story. Then, two other ministers, Paul and Deb Phelps created a journal to use in conjunction with the daily lessons called Illumination Journal, which is still available at www.miraclesone.org. I bought a copy in 2007 and began doing my lessons with the Holy Spirit. This book is a collection of some of that very personal journey, journaling. It covers the lessons through the second review. As I did this journaling, I was learning to apply the lessons to my daily life. I was also developing an open and honest relationship with the Holy Spirit in my mind. I was getting in touch with my divinity through speaking to, and more importantly, listening to the Holy Spirit as He guided me through the lessons. Always in the past, I had been very upset when I failed to live up to my expectations as I did the lessons. The Holy Spirit spoke to my anxiety. My first message from Holy Spirit, Don't worry about what you forget to do during the day. Don't be concerned about what you are learning or how it should happen. Do not judge what you do or what you fail to do. Just allow me to work in you. So that's the introduction to my book. I think I will maybe do the first, maybe the second chapter in a different, um, in a different video to keep this kind of short. Thank you so much for listening. And if you would like to buy my book and learn more about my journey through this wonderful book, this, this workbook that has created such a difference in my life, you can find it on Amazon and Barnes and & Noble and perhaps in bookstores I really don't know yet. Thanks for being with me this morning.